Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do the scotch game. So the scotch game starts with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, and then you play d4, which is a scotch game. And there are many lines in the scotch game, but the best move is to take, and then white mostly takes. The main moves here are bishop b5, which is the classical variation i mean c5 which is a classical variation where the threat is you take it and white responds with bishop e3 and then there are many ways to attack the the knight that is centralized so you play queen f3 <coughs> that attack that also adds an attacker to this knight So, there are many ways white can defend, but the best is c3, keeping the knight. What I like is knight ge7, which reinforces the knight and also gets your king ready to castle. So, after you play knight ge7, black has many ways to play. He can also try to castle and play bishop c4 pinning the pawn to the king when it castles and also getting ready to castle so the other way that black can do is after this just play knight c6 it's all this is called the skimmed it variation you can also call it as a mises variation so what you do is you're targeting this pawn. So here the best moves are taking the knight in which you attack the queen. So that's this is featuring white because if, if, with, if you take with this, then the queen takes queen, which leaves black's king in the center, and then you can protect the pawn. Or if you take with this, this doubles the pawns, but it does leave black a chance to visit, visit, I mean, block this diagonal if black, white's bishop, fianchettos. The moves that aren't good after this are doing something else like protecting the knight which isn't that good because see it says minus th 3 point or 13 or anything which is featuring black so here instead of taking if after this if you take with the knight it's called a lolly variation and then you take take and it becomes fair again but white white has a queen in the center which is very strong and there's another thing which is called which which you just play d6 wanting to secure your pawn but that isn't that good because white just attacks the knight and you have to move it back so instead of d6, you can play knight ge7, which is also bad. But the best move after this is, and after this, if white, black plays knight f6, you take the knight, as I said, and either way he takes, you can just attack the knight. And the queen can come and pin it, but you also come the same way, which you still attack the knight. So after the knight moves into the center, you can play this, and this is the best move, pinning the queen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.